The ORCA Properties dialog has a number of important settings that you should be aware of. So let's go over some of these here. Beginning on the first tab, the General tab, are the project title, company name, and logo file. And these are all used in the various reports that ORCA produces. So you should fill these out and browse for a bitmap of a logo file. If you don't put in your own logo file, the ORCA logo is shown on your reports. Next are the units preferences. Remember that Rhino controls the length units and ORCA controls all of the other units such as area, uh, volume, weight, and so forth. There are four default systems, SI kilograms and metric tons, and imperial pounds and imperial long tons. In addition, you can select custom units and select show units and change to whichever custom unit you'd like to have. This is where you control the model orientation. By default, forward is negative x, up is positive z, and these can simply be changed to match the orientation that you desire. Next is the View tab. The first section here controls settings for the ORCA 3D viewports, whether you'd like to have grid lines showing, grid axes, and so forth, and which direction the bow is going to point to the right or to the left. In the Hull Assistant, you can now have a shaded preview and you can set the color for the front and the back of a surface here. And the ORCA 3D control polygon with the control points can have custom colors set here. Having the chine color as a separate color really helps to know which row or column in your control net is a chine. Next is the hydrostatics tab. The first thing that we can set here is the fluid type, whether it's seawater, freshwater, or other. If you select other, you can enter your own mass density. The warning thresholds in hydrostatics will show you very clearly in a hydrostatics output when your equilibrium condition has exceeded these values. In ORCA version 1.2.3 there's a new option for running a pre-float check before the hydrostatics are computed and this picks up common issues such as surfaces where the outward normal is in the wrong direction and by default this is required but by unchecking this box uh, you can run that manually if you like, but you're not forced to go through it every time you run hydrostatics. There's a sectional area curve that's displayed in hydrostatics when you insert a flotation plane, and you can adjust the scale factor and change the color of that curve here. Meshing is important because ORCA computes hydrostatics not based on stations as in a traditional hydrostatics program but based on the surface mesh instead. So this control allows you to adjust some of the settings that control how that mesh is computed. These are very similar to the Rhino commands for computing various Rhino meshes. You should look through the help file to understand these settings. It's also interesting for your own purposes to adjust some of these settings on some of your own models, run the hydrostatics, and see what the sensitivity is to some of these settings. And finally, the Reports tab, beginning with version 1.2.3, you are able to customize your reports, such as hydrostatics and the resistance predictions. Uh, this is covered in the documentation. It's using the Microsoft Report Viewer. And if you do create your own customized reports, this is where you would tell ORCA 3D where to find those templates. Once you have all these settings, you can save a template file using Rhino's file save as template command, along with any other Rhino settings that you'd like to use, so that each time you start a new model, all of these settings will be in place. To see more videos, download a demo, or purchase a license of ORCA 3D, 
please visit www.orca3d.com.